I just felt like I had no control over my body. I always felt like something was going to go wrong. I was doing everything the doctors were telling me and it was just so hard because all I felt was fear and I, all I could do was think about like diabetes 24-7. I couldn't think about anything else. And now I eat like either oatmeal or fruit in the morning. I eat rice. I eat potatoes. I eat a lot of fruit. I'll go on runs at like 120 and before I wouldn't even leave my house if I was under 200. Like, I do you enjoy so it? good. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> it's just, it's like you're on coffee constantly. That's basically how you feel, right? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's the truth. Like you just have energy. Yeah. You get to eat food you like. Mm -hmm. And you don't just starve yourself to be skinny. Absolutely. I'm really excited to have my new friend here, Afaf. Afaf. She has an incredible transformation, and I think it's going to inspire a lot of you guys, so we're going to share her story here today. Let's start with the beginning. August 2015, Yeah. you're diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. What happened before then? What was going on before the diagnosis? Basically, I was just sick for a whole year. I was throwing up a lot. I was really thirsty. I lost a lot of weight. That's basically Yeah, the normal story. Yeah, the normal story. Okay, so you get diagnosed, mm -hmm. and then what happens? Does, what does the doctor tell you to do? How does your family handle this? My family was fine, but the doctor was like, basically, don't eat carbs. And so mm -hmm. I didn't eat any carbs. And it was just, it was like depressing because it was so hard to manage it, and my life just like right. changed like that. Absolutely. What do you want to remember from the early days of not really being in control of diabetes? I used to be so scared to go to sleep because wow. my sister, when she was younger, had a friend that died in her sleep because of wow. diabetes. Wow. And so before I would go to sleep, I would eat so much to be at 300 just so that I feel comfortable going to sleep. And I would wake up at like in my 30s, in the 30s. It was so scary because I just felt like I had no control over my body. I always felt like something was going to go wrong. And I was, I was kind of careless, but at the same time, I didn't know how to be careful because I was doing everything the doctors were telling me and it was just so hard because all I felt was fear and I, all I could do was think about like diabetes 24-7. I couldn't think about anything else and I would just, I was just so scared all the time and it was so depressing. I would just be in my room all by myself in the dark crying because I just didn't know what to do and how to feel better. Walk us through a typical day of eating before you followed our low-fat plant-based whole food program and okay. then what you do now. So basically, I would eat eggs and turkey bacon and then I would eat for lunch probably chicken. For dinner, I would probably eat meat or something. But the thing about the way I was eating before, I would eat like that for like three days and then I would binge on Pop-Tarts or pizza or something like that because it's it was so... Like, I had no energy. I didn't have anything to do. And also, like, I would drink so much caffeine. It was disgusting. I would have, like, four cups of coffee a day. Mm, wow. And now, I eat, like, either oatmeal or fruit in the morning. I eat rice. I eat potatoes. I eat a lot of fruit. Yeah, that's what I eat now. All day long. It doesn't really matter what time of day it is. And you eat quite simply. Mm hmm You were taking 22 units of Lantus. Yes. Okay. And then every time you wanted to eat a meal, you would take roughly 10 units of Novolog. Yeah. Okay, and then you also, you were high all the time. Your A1C was, was 14. Mm -hmm. So roughly yeah. 62 units of total insulin, eating roughly 30 grams of total carbohydrate. Yeah, and that wouldn't even fix my blood sugar. Like right. it would still be high. So then you, you find out about me and Cyrus and what we're doing at Mastering Diabetes. Mm -hmm. You are literally one of the best students I've ever had. It was, I literally, I just like, okay, let's, let's do this. Let's try it out and see how it goes. You were pretty scared to eat fruit, mm -hmm. but how did it go? Well, it, it was honestly like it was easy, but at the same time, it was so weird because my blood sugars would be normal and I'd start like freaking out. And so I feel like the transition from now and then was, is so crazy because I'll go on runs at like 120 and before I wouldn't even leave my house if I was under 200 mm -hmm. and so I feel like the transition was pretty smooth okay good yeah I mean that's a real thing mm -hmm. I mean people who don't have very good control of their blood glucose or any predictability sometimes are mm -hmm. scared to just do things because I mean, the other problem you were having is the extreme highs but also extreme lows mm -hmm. you would tank sometimes yeah 
And really badly. Yeah. You did everything I asked you to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I said log everything in Chronometer. You did it. I said send me a picture of each meal. You sent me a picture. I said fill out the decision trees. Mm -hmm. You filled them out thoroughly and we're doing everything amazingly I still well. still fill them out. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> okay. So now it's six months later, mm -hmm. six months since we were doing that. And let's review your totals. Your current Lantus use now is 10 units per day. Yeah. 10 units of Lantus. And then when you eat meals, how much do you inject for each for your meals? Breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. It's like three or four for each meal. Yep. And it's yeah. roughly 80 grams of carbohydrate mm -hmm. per meal. Yeah. Okay. And then sometimes you might have a snack in between. Yes. If we run the numbers conservatively, that gives you a total of 25 units of insulin. And now you're eating roughly 300 grams of carbohydrate. Per a day. lot more food. A lot more. A lot more okay. food. Okay. So the, the numbers in regards to insulin sensitivity is dramatic. But now let's talk about the more important stuff here. Like, how do you feel? Like, I do feel you enjoy? So good. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's just it's like you're on coffee constantly. That's basically how you feel, right? Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's the truth. Like, you just have energy. Yeah. You get to eat food you like. Mm -hmm. And you don't just starve yourself to be skinny. Absolutely. And but I see. I mean, your Snapchat, your Instagram. You're active all the time, mm -hmm. which is essential for yeah. overall health. And have you had a new A1C since changing your diet? Yes, but it was at eight. Okay, big improvement. 14 to eight, progress. You're young, you have friends that you know probably don't eat the same way as you do. How do you navigate those situations? Honestly, I feel like it's not that hard because either if I'm going somewhere, I'll just make sure that we go to somewhere that has a vegan option or something like that. It's not that hard to just put like a plastic container of food in your bag or whatever and go out with your friends. I feel like it's not as hard as people make it seem because they just overthink it and it's just like pack the food yeah. or do whatever you need to do. If you want to feel good, there's no price. You're changing your taste buds, you're changing your entire life. And then as soon as you get used to it, it's just like whatever. If you just lead by example and take care of yourself mm -hmm. and don't make other people feel bad about their decisions, you're not showing up judging them and be like, oh, you shouldn't be eating that. Yeah. Then it sets a good you know, tone that they're not going to do the same thing to you. It's like we're yeah. just all supporting each other and doing what every, each one of us decides is best for ourselves. You support them, they're going to support you. Yeah. If anybody is thinking about doing this, with no matter any type of diabetes they're living with, they're considering this program, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to somebody? Just do it because you're not going to be depressed and sick all the time. That's pretty simple. That's all I have to say, it's, honestly. I mean, I couldn't agree more. That's why I <laughs> tell people all day. Just do it. Just give this a try. I mean, it's not going to hurt you. If you try it for one week, you're guaranteed to see results in the first day. Like, I swear to God. It's true. It's like, it's just so true. It I don't just know. works. <laughs>